Hello over everybody, Manu is Dan, back again. Uh, getting pretty close to the end of our Mega Man X for the Super Nintendo playthrough. Uh, only got one more of the original eight Robot Masters to beat, that is uh, Sting Chameleon here. We're also going to pick up a heart, uh, and the final piece of the armor upgrade on the same stage too. Uh, so hopefully we can get there pretty smoothly, and get to it. Been contemplating what my next game's gonna be. Uh, you know, I wanna I wanna beat this. I wanna actually complete the first game I start. You know, at least to uh, commit to that. I can't say I'll complete every game I start on here. We'll just have to see, you know, how popularity is and and requests go and stuff. But I think I've got an idea for another game that I wanna get to really soon. I'm kind of in hankering to play it, so. Alright, we're gonna go do that dash jump there and get to this secret little mini boss, which is guarding uh, the final armor upgrade. So I've got a game in mind, and hopefully I'm gonna get that video up soon, maybe even a little bit later today. This guy you can only hit in the head, you can't hit him in his goofy smile. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be that way, but it looks like it's just a big goofy face. So just bust him in the eyeball about 20 ish times. It's got a few attacks. The main one is that little claw one there he's doing there. If he hits you with it, it does some damage, but it also kind of grapples you in. And I think he does another follow-up attack. He kind of does, you know, that sit-down squash. Now, if you should do the grapple attack and you're actually close to a wall, he'll instead, if he misses you, he'll hit the wall and then actually pull himself to the wall and just hit you with his body, just, you know, contact damage. Ah, blowing some shots there. Ooh, that was a close one. Alright. There we go. Smoking. Almost dead. I wish they gave him a life bar, because this sometimes this fight just seems to just go on and on. But I'm thinking about really starting my new game really soon. Um, just because the Sigma stages of this are gonna be a pain in the butt. And it's probably going to be one stage for a video because they're longer than the other stages. And because they're more difficult, uh, almost said an improper word there. Almost said an improper statement. Because they're more difficult and longer, uh, I don't think I'll be able to get two of those into a single show. So here we are. I get the final piece of the armor, which is next to the boots, is probably the most important. It's the chest piece. It actually reduces the amount of damage you take from attacks. You know, thus, you know, really almost doubling your life. So, really good. I mean, the arm cannon has its uses, and the helmet is pretty much worthless. I gotta skim back. There we go. Um, you know, other than the couple of things it's used for. Uh, now, because I beat the uh, launch octopus, this is all full of water, which it has to be to get to the heart piece over here. Alright, gotta do a dash jump. See if I can get this on the first try. Got it. Alright. There we go. Get back. Alright. Uh, so I'm hopefully going to start this other game and maybe that'll bring some more people in. Now normally that, that fat guy that I just killed uh, would actually be up there kind of stomping around. Um, causing different rocks to fall on your head here. Not just these little rock soldiers. So... This, this part is obviously easier. And even then, even if you didn't kill that guy, this is one of the, you know, like, three spots where the helmet actually does serve a purpose. And the rocks don't hurt you, because you have your new upgraded helmet on. But, I don't have to worry about it. Although, these guys seem to be doing plenty of job punching me in the face. Alright, little woody woodpeckers there. Just gonna zoom on by them. Montezuma on my get that extra life. Alright, almost done with the level. Nice little mech suits. There's only a couple instances of them in the game. They they become a little more prominent in some of the other uh, X games. Uh, they even get like drill arms and um, even like the later ones for the PS2 you get like cannons and stuff. So they get they get pretty advanced. But uh, in this one you just got the puncher one. And you just kinda zoom through it. The cool feature is if you actually don't have the power suit and you come upon one of these guys here, they'll actually start by standing outside of the suit. So if you're really fast, you can bust them in the face and uh, take it. 
Alright, so I need the boomerang cutter. What is this guy here? Uh, you actually have to be careful fighting him, because if you see, he's got spikes on the ceiling. And if you touch those, you're... I'm pretty sure it's a 1-8 kill. I know they do damage, but I'm pretty sure, like, most spikes it's a 1-8 kill. Remember this guy used to always be just a... Yeah, a boss that I hated. Absolutely hated fighting. Uh, just because you gotta dodge the debris. Uh, he has kind of a cloaking ability. Um, I remember when I beat him with just the, the Mega Buster uh, for the first time. I was so ecstatic. Uh, as you can see, now that I've got his weakness, though, not really trouble. <sighs> There's a problem, though, with the uh, Boomerang Cutter. If you jump, it actually swings down instead of up. Um, Alright, there we go. Short work, no problem. But it swings down instead of up, which is actually used to get some of the uh, secrets in other parts of the game. Uh, some E-tanks and some parts and stuff. Uh, so there we go. All eight bosses, down and out. Record time. Actually, it's fine on record time. I've always been curious of what the world record speedrun of this game is, because uh, I think I could, might be able to give that guy a run for his money. There we go, a little try shot, which the charge shot of that is one of the best charge up abilities in the game. Makes you invulnerable for like 10 seconds. Pretty awesome. Alright, a little cutscene where it's like, we found Sigma's base. We gotta go take that mother out. I'm gonna go on ahead, you're gonna go do the hard stuff. And there you go, now that last corner finally actually does something. It's gonna take you to the Sigma stages. But we're not gonna go there just yet, because I wanna get the rest of the stuff in this. All the hearts and E-tanks and whatnot. So let's zoom through that. So let's see, I've got the heart and the armor on that level. We need to get the heart and an E-tank here on this one. So we're going to go get that one first. Hopefully we can just zoom through a lot of this. Which, uh, actually we'll do a Sting Chameleon's little power. It's going to do a charge shot, go invincible, and just try and dash through a lot of this stuff. fingers would communicate properly. Oh, wait, actually, did I... Did I just miss something? Oh, yeah, I did. I gotta go back. Crap. Let's skim right past the uh, E-Tank. Although, it looks like it glitched the, most of the enemies out. Ah, crap. I don't know if I can get up from that. Well, obviously, I can. I'll just... Man, it's a good thing I have that the cannon upgrade, or else I'd have to restart the level right now. Oh. There we go. Alright. Light him up. There we go. Not a problem. And there's the E-Tank. Do a little jump shot. Loop around. Got it. I have every E-Tank. And now we gotta go on to about the halfway point of the level, I believe. Uh, in order to get the heart from this stage. Climb to the flipping ladder. Alright. I think it's right after... It's I know it's right after a dark spot like this here. But, uh... I think it's, I think it's this first one, but it could be the second one. But, uh... We'll definitely see it. This is one of the stages I have to go further into to get uh, all the remaining secrets and stuff. Most of them are pretty quick. You get them just right, you know, at most the midway point of the level. Uh, this one you gotta go decently far in to get that heart. Yeah, okay, so it's not there for sure. It is after the next little uh, dark zone. So let's see how fast I can get to that and we can get it over with. Gotta fight this dude again. But, here's where those homing missiles are going to come into play. So we're going to light this guy up. There we go. Just like that. Not a problem. Now, obviously, if you fight the enemies in a different order, because by no means is my way the perfect way to do it. Um, you know, use them, use them when you get to them, because you don't need them for the boss fight. Alright. Alright, I think, I think I'm there, pretty much. Right at the end of this little segment here. All right. Kind of throwing caution to the wind, just taking the hits, running and gunning, trying to do this as fast as I possibly can. All right. 
Almost done. Here it is, right here. Oh, nope, not quite. Here it is. Alright, so you need the uh, boomerang cutter again here, I believe. You, or maybe or are you able to kick out and back over? You might be able to do that, but I, oh, well, I guess I could have got this before. Man, I feel like a fool. But either way, I got it. Let's warp out. It's gonna give me a passcode because you know my stuff has changed. All right, so right there, got a thing there. U tank heart there. Got the heart U tank there. Got the heart there. Heart there. Ah, oh, right there. Last one. Gotta go get one more heart. And then I'll have all the, uh, pieces. And pretty much all the secrets except for one. So hopefully, uh, this video won't be too long. And I'll just cram it all in there. Then, then I'm probably gonna take a break from old Mega Man X until I get back to the, uh, playing through the Sigma stages. Because I'm just not in the mood to tackle those right out the gate. Just yet. Oh, climb that ladder. So now, as we saw earlier, Bernard Shaw earlier, I'm gonna be able to just zoom through this, even if I had the uh, didn't have that power. But I do. So Turtles uh, Arch Nemesis Wind. Oh, nope, there goes my controller again. I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing about that. But too bad. Here we go. Until I get a new one. So, all right. Now with the, the invincibility power. Oh shoot! With the invincibility power, as soon as I get it charged up and released, you can't even get crushed by spikes. Pretty cool little nifty feature. And there's actually I'm not gonna do it because uh, I don't really do this crap. But some of these spikes actually won't even hurt you at the, the top floor here. There's a few spikes that you can actually jump off of, and they don't do any damage. I don't know if it's just a... I think it's just an unintentional programming glitch. They just, uh... You just haven't hit the right pixels, and you're okay. Alright. Alright. Zoom on through this. Not really looking forward to trying this again. Hopefully I don't screw up with my controller. Oh, come on. Alright. That's what the invincibility is for. I can just run through it and not even have to worry. Ah, come on. We're off just in time to get shot in the face. Alright, almost done. I feel so foolish making these rookie mistakes. I got one more use of this, so hopefully... Ah, good. I'm done anyway. Alright. Change powers, rather than wait for that to wear off. Alright, and that's it. That's the last part. Only got one more thing to do. I don't know if I have enough lives to do it, though. There's a way to do it without... There's a one more secret, which, uh... Really not a lot of people know about. It's on this stage. You have to have all four E-Tanks, you have to have all eight hearts, and all four pieces of the armor to get it, which I have. There's a way to do it without dying, but uh, I've never been too successful that way. Actually, right there. There we go. I'm going to farm this fat bat here for one-ups. Because I need to get up to nine to make sure I have enough lives to do this part. There we go. Shouldn't take too long. As I said before, the fat bats... Uh, just have an unnaturally high one-up drop rate. As you can see, there are two in a row. Three in a row. Oh, man. If I got four in a row, I don't know what I was going to do. I'm going to freak out. Four. One more. To make sure I got enough. Because I can't remember how many lives it takes. You know, it takes... To get this, it takes uh, a couple of trips down one of those tracks. And, uh, you can either just die, or you can essentially run back up the level, but that way has not always been perfect, and uh, it just seems like just killing yourself is the most effective way to get it. So that's what I'm going to do. 
And after I get this secret, I'll probably be the end of the video, because that'll be time to start the old Sigma stages. Alright, I'm gonna get this going. That way I don't have to worry about these spikes and nothing here. Just Sprint, sprint, sprint. Alright. There we are, there's that move again. I told you that's gonna come in handy in a few spots. Cause that guy hasn't even died yet. And I'm way past him. Ah, I guess I didn't really need that. Look at that. Just now, just now hit the spike trap. So, making a pretty darn good time. Alright. Almost done. Oh, man. Ah. Having some awful slowdown. Hopefully that doesn't persist. Alright, get my fire ability up. Burn him up. That way I don't use this, the invincibility, so I don't hit that little pixel down here and die. Alright. Almost done. Now, you can't switch your powers when you have that out, but you can uh, still shoot that, the uh, Stink Chameleon power. Ooh, there was a problem there, I almost had too many shots. Alright, and jump! Jump up there, and then kill yourself. And now we're going to repeat this, I think, three or four times. Um, and then there should be a little surprise up there. Hmm, hopefully I don't run out of, uh, energy. I don't think I will. I don't usually. Get that going. Oh, see? Almost. Might have even tripped those spikes there. Alright, switch on back. Yeah, let's do this again. One good charge shot ought to clear out all these guys. Alright, leaf up. Plus, good thing is, if I can do this without taking any damage, uh, it's gonna fill up my E tanks. There was number two. Number three. Wish I could remember the exact number of how many times this takes. But, shouldn't be even just another couple of minutes. Trying to just sprint as much as I can. I know I'm getting a little quiet here because I'm just trying to focus. Just want to get those done. Oh no! Come on. Oh, man, have that slowdown issue again. Uh, I guess that's what happens. You know, back when back when this game came out, not all processors were that great. So occasionally you just get so much stuff on the screen you just can't handle it. So it's not usually an issue though. Ah, shoot. I hope that... hope that counts. I'm be mad if it doesn't. Ah, okay. There we go. Pretty sure it does, because I think it just counts the number of times you ride the track and not actually, uh... how many times you get up there by jumping off of it. Here we go again. If I have to, I'm gonna cut this video up, because I don't want it to be too long. And I have a feeling that it might be. Oh, see? And that's why he's there, so I don't skip up and really wreck myself. Alright. Alright. Zoom, zoom, zoom. Charge shot. There's that slowdown again. Oh, cool. Extra life. There it is! Awesome! The fifth and final capsule. If you take note here, Professor Light is not wearing his typical lab coat, but a karate gi. And he says, I give to you, Mega Man, a special present. Now enter the capsule. Prish. Time for a reference to another famous Capcom game. Just like any time, he's going to demo it as soon as he steps out of the capsule. That's right. Classic Street Fighter maneuver. 
number one, the Hadouken, made famous by Canon Ryu. And uh, the game doesn't even tell you how to do it, it's not in your energy thing anywhere. So getting it isn't even, you know, is hard enough. But then knowing it is actually the classic. Man, I can't even do it. Ah, well, it's supposed to be down forward and then fire, but apparently I'm gonna have a whole lot of trouble doing it. So now I feel like an ass that I wasted that whole time to not even be able to do the damn thing because my controller isn't wanting to act right. Well, anyway, just saw it. Uh, the only way to use it is down forward fire uh, or down forward shoot. Pretty much just like Street Fighter. And uh, you have to have full life to do it. Uh, if you don't have max HP, he won't do it. And anything it touches is a one-hit kill, even bosses. Um, so hopefully I can figure something out in the controller or whatever the heck it's called me to not be able to shoot it uh, before my next episode. So there you go. Every secret. Initial eight bosses down. Only thing left to do, churn through the Sigma stages and beat him. And we'll see when I get to that. Anyway, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll talk to you guys later, hopefully with my next video, which will be a new game.